What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video Hope you guys are having a fantastic day because uh, I'm not you know I'm feeling a little sick so if my voice sounds different uh, you know why I sound like I'm actually fighting the flu But if you are having a great day be sure to press the like but otherwise no joke no scam You'll get the flu. Yeah, that's right I'll sneak into your room and sneeze into your mouth so that way you get whatever I have and trust me It's very unpleasant. So uh, you guys don't want the flu so pre press the like button because the flu is bad Anyways, besides my death, it's my job to entertain you guys and entertain you guys is what I'm gonna be doing today Now this story was sent to me by a subscriber. So big. Thank you If you guys have any crazy stories about your life feel free to send them into my Instagram at scrubby and uh, yeah I'll upload them every now and then but without further ado Let's get into a video about a kid that this person was babysitting trying to microwave their chihuahua You know just a typical Tuesday You know how it is when you're babysitting kids and they get up to no good and try to cook the dog Typical America, ha ha ha, can't relate. Anyways, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here, and uh, my older sister is not the world's best mom, all right? I'm not gonna lie and say that she secretly is tying her kids up to chairs in the closets and leaving them there for 18 hours at a time, but she had her kids young and she isn't exactly, you know, the sharpest tool in the shed. But on top of my sister just not being the sharpest tool for the shed, my nephew, high key, is probably a psychopath. He's always had problems with like hitting other kids and biting people and just overall doing horrible things you know and most of my family tries to brush this off as pretty normal but I feel like if a kid has a trend for biting people and thinking it's funny when things get run over he just might be a psychopath but whatever my sister obviously who's trying her best to work and support these kids doesn't really think that her son's that crazy which I mean no parent wants to admit that their son is a psychopath okay nobody wants to sit down and go all right, so let me look at the facts here. My son giggled joyously when Bugs Bunny was run over by a Hummer at Universal Studios because The Rock was late for filming the next Fast and Furious. Yeah, no, that seems normal, pretty normal childhood things here. Like, obviously, no parent wants to admit that their son or their kid is crazy. But regardless, he is a uh, little bit insane. And my sister was like, hey, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go on a date. You know, I haven't been dating in a while because I've just been taking care of the kids. Is there any way that you can watch uh, your, your nephew? And I'm like, you know what? Sure. All right. You know, uh, I'll help out my sister. I'll be a good person. She can go on a date. That way this kid can get two parents and uh, that way I don't have to watch him anymore. So whatever. The night that I need to watch my nephew comes and sure enough, I go over to the house and I walk in and my nephew's like, evening. I've been expecting you with like this evil look on his face. I'm pretty sure that for a second he spun around in an office chair with a white cat petting it saying evening Mr. Bond like something about the demeanor the way he was acting tonight just made me know that it was gonna be a, a Usual night of, of trouble with him and usually the trouble that this kid would get into was like annoying But not that bad. He would lock himself in the bathroom for an hour He would make a mess when he eats which I mean is annoying But just is like pretty standard annoying bratty kid stuff Nothing too wild, but something in his eyes tonight made me take fear, okay? And if you've ever looked at a child and had fear in your eyes, then you know that child is definitely evil. Because there's not much that, like, an eight-year-old can do to be physically intimidating, okay? I've never been at the park and been, like, on the slide when an eight-year-old wants to use it and they walk up to me and flex and are like, Hey, bro, get off my slide, you know? They're not very physically intimidating. But something about a kid's eyes, dude. Like, if a kid is crazy, it's just in their eyes, you know? They look at you and they're like... I shower with socks on and you're like whoa Jeremy all right, man I, I don't want any problems You could have just told me that you're a psychopath and I would have believed you and uh, whatever He acts all nice until his mom leaves and his mom obviously is very excited for her date and to get away from the demon spawn of a child for an evening She won't say that out loud. She'll never admit it But uh, we all know that it's true because if your son was a psychopath You probably want to get out of there as fast as possible, too So whatever his mom finally leaves and that's when the fun begins because what is this eight-year-old psychotic nephew of mind decided the first words out of his mouth are gonna be after his mom leaves it's simply oh you're gonna have to catch me and then he proceeds to and I'm not kidding take off almost all of his clothes except his underwear walk over to the fridge pick up the I can't believe it's not butter the whole tub of margarine and you know what guys you're right I, I couldn't believe it's not butter because what he did next was unbelievable regardless of the substance sticks his hand into the container of I can't believe it's not butter like a chunk of butter sticks his hand in digs his fingernails into the butter as much as possible pulls out a clump of butter 
a clump of butter and just start smearing it all over himself and saying, yep, this will make me slippier. I shouldn't be able to be caught that easily. And I'm like, what, what are you doing, dude? Please stop rubbing butter all over yourself, which is never something that you expect to say to your nephew, you know? When you're imagining what's life gonna be like when you're an uncle one day, you're like, man, I'm gonna get to bring cool Christmas presents and give them cool advice when boyfriends break up with them. No, you never expect to have to chase down your nephew while he's covering himself in margarine to make himself slippier. And so he covers himself in margarine, and by the time I get over to, you know, stop him, he has this handful of butter rubbed all over himself and says, time to catch me, and just starts running around the house the entire time, like, diving onto the furniture, sliding down the stairs, which is getting, like, butter residue ever because, or everywhere, not ever, because he decided to rub himself in margarine, you know, which is a really weird thing to do. Like, why, as an eight-year-old, is you're sitting there and deciding, hmm, now, I could just run and be chased normally, which would make this game still have the same thrill. Or I could strip down to my underwear and cover myself in butter, so that way I can get a mess everywhere all over the house for the sole purpose of making them have to clean it up. Like, like I said, the, the kid is definitely a psychopath, right? So I'm chasing around this kid who's covered in butter, and I finally catch him, and, you know, he says, Ah, oh, you caught me, you know, I'll, I'll clean my, my butter off, so... I start the shower, and obviously I'm not going to sit in the shower with the kid because that would be weird. So I'm like, all right, you know, you have five minutes to get the butter off you. So five minutes later, he comes out, you know, after chasing around this kid covered in butter around the house. And he's like, you know, I'm so sorry for causing a disturbance. That'll be the last time that I cause any problems tonight. And I'm like, oh. Thank God, you know, at least he knows that he caused a problem. Maybe he is becoming more normal. He feels bad about rubbing himself with margarine and running around the house causing a mess. That generally seems like a step in the right direction, you know? Remorse is usually a good sign. Uh, and then something even worse happens. So I don't know if my sister went on a date to the front lines of World War III or what, but she's gone for like a long time. And we're sitting on the couch watching movies and stuff, and it gets to be pretty late. And around 11 p.m., you know, the kid dozes off and so I'm sitting there and my sister's still not home and sure enough after he's out and we're just watching TV I fall asleep pretty quick after like not incredibly quick But I pass out about 1130 the kid falls asleep at 11 and usually I was just hoping uh, Or usually what does happen if I ever watch him is you know We fall asleep and then my sister will wake me up whenever she gets home, you know, and I'm hoping that hey Hey, I'll just have to wait for my sister to get home. She'll wake me up I'll go home the kids already asleep should be smooth sailing from here on out well, uh, obviously there's still more to the story, so that's not exactly the case, and as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, the wildest thing was still yet to come. No, no, no. Half-naked kids running around covered in butter? Yeah, that's not weird enough. That's not gonna be enough to make, uh, my day just very bizarre. So... At around 12.30, 1 in the morning, I hear a bunch of noises coming from the kitchen. And it sounds like a dog, like, struggling. Like, no, 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 no. So, I look up, and sure enough, the microwave door slams, and I hear, like, the microwave start. And I can hear, like, the barking immediately gets way more subdued. Suddenly, the barking has gone from, like, a 10 on the loudness scale to, like, a solid negative 1. You can barely hear it. Before we see what happens next, head on over to Teespring and check out the no joke no scam merch that's right i'm doing my own commercial because youtube hates me so i get up and i run over and thankfully my nephew is too stupid probably from all the butter that he had covered himself in to actually get it to start like the sound that i had heard was just the door closing and the dog barking from inside and i guess it was like echoing inside the metal so i open the door to the microwave and sure enough the dog is like hey i'm out of here bro it hops out and it runs as fast as i can well as fast as it could as fast as i can i'm not a chihuahua surprise Surprisingly, I'm not, uh, the movie Dogs, in which George Lopez plays a chihuahua. That movie really sucked, by the way. Zero out of ten. Regardless, my nephew is laughing at this, like, ha ha, it would have microwaved the dog. And I'm like, you do realize that microwaving animals is not very cool, right? And he's looking at me, he's like, why do you make everything that's fun not fun? I don't know what's wrong with my nephew, bro, but he had literally just tried to microwave the dog. So... I had to sit him down and explain to him kindly that no, microwaving dogs is not okay, you little psychopath. So, whatever, I decide at that point that it's time for him to go to bed and he's in trouble. So, I yell at him, obviously, because microwaving a chihuahua is something that you deserve to get yelled at for. And I decide I'm just gonna wait till his mom gets home. So his mom gets home, and I start explaining to her, you know, about how, hey, just letting you know, he tried to put the dog in the microwave, right? And you know what my sister says to me? She says, Oh, again? Haha, ha, did you stop it? Apparently, this kid has not already tried to microwave this dog more than once, and you know, my sister just doesn't care, so... 
whatever, not much I can really do about it. I ended up calling my parents and telling them all about it just because I was like, look, this kid's trying to microwave dogs. That's really not okay. And uh, yeah, now the Chihuahua lives with me because my parents basically made my sister give it to him. The kid is now getting even more therapy than he already did because I guess my sister just decided that telling my parents that her son was trying to microwave a dog probably wasn't the best idea. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if I go missing, my nephew has single-handedly made the entire neighborhood go missing. So just hit me up and uh, yeah, you probably know where to find me is in their backyard or in their microwave. But on that note, those guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. As I said, this is a subscriber story. So uh, this isn't like my nephew. This is someone who watches me nephew. I just want to make that clear just in case, you know, anyone's watching this and I've been gone. I'm not kidnapped. This was a subscriber story. But uh, yeah, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at Scrubby underscore 69. Instagram at Scrubby. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. Scope out the merch. Use code Scrubby at the G Fuel checkout. Today's notification shout out goes to the very awesome Topher Clover. Big thank you for having on notifications. If you want a notification shout out, just send me a screenshot to my Instagram at Scrubby and I uh, shout someone out every day. But on that note, as I said, I don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.